There's one treatment method for prostate cancer that has kind of fallen out of vogue, right. and that's radioactive seeds. Correct. What happened to that? So radioactive seeds, also known as brachytherapy, are these little seeds that are inserted in the, throughout the prostate with the, with, this, with the idea of promoting or putting out radiation to the cancer cells, mm -hmm. and then just eliminating the cancer that way. And those radioactive seeds would, would eventually wear out. Right. They will eventually wear right. out. They always live in your prostate, but they'll, the, 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 it's the activity, radiation. Yeah, right. it's activity, uh, putting out radiation yes. will eventually wear out to, to some right. degree within five to 10 years yeah, or yeah. so, roughly. And it has lost its popularity for many reasons. One is because there's less uh, physicians being trained in radioactive seeds. Because? Because it doesn't pay that much. It's, it's money. It can't so it's not be. about effectiveness. I was, I was thinking that you were going to say that there were more effective treatments that had come along. Well, that, that, so it's a combination of things. Okay. It's, just not, it's just not one thing. One is, so that's one of the reasons, mm -hmm. just less people train in it. In any academic institution at any given time, you may have one person who's done six uh, seed implantations right. in a year. So, okay. so you, you, it would be difficult to find an experienced practitioner at this point in time. At this point in time, right. yes. The other is Was that it not effective as a treatment? It might be effective. So remember, so one of the things that we spoke about at, in another, another segment was active surveillance, mm -hmm. meaning if you have low-grade prostate cancer, and I'm very anxious over this fact that I have low-grade prostate cancer, what are my options? Well, you could put seeds in. Right. One can make the argument that anything is effective if you have low grade, including doing nothing, right? right? So in, in, for a certain patient population, you could put seeds and it, it, it would be effective because they, have, they already have low grade prostate cancer. In a higher grade population, let's say Gleason 8, so Gleason's are between six and 10, the higher you go up on that scale, the more aggressive the cancer is. Gleason 8, 9, and 10's seed implantation or brachytherapy is not a good option. Right. The other thing is that Within five years or so, there's urinary problems that occur with seed implant impl now implantations. Now you're getting to a reason. That's right. Okay, so now so I've that, got a reason. So, right. so patients are aware of this, right? Okay. Why? Because they have access to pretty much the same right. information that I have right. access to. They're reading online saying, wow, within five to ten years, there's more urinary frequency and urgency mm -hmm. and all these urinary problems. There is, um, you have no semen because of the radiation or killing all of the cells that make your semen. And well, those a, are good reasons for it not to be used anymore. For infertility right. issues, for some reason, right. men like to ejaculate with semen, and that's another that's for another segment maybe. <laughs> uh, but but the other thing is that for thirty percent mm -hmm. for for thirty percent of men, it does cause erectile dysfunction right. as well. Okay. So it's not like they don't experience erectile. Right. So they already have they, so they develop urinary symptoms within five years, and they have some level of erectile dysfunction as well, and. There are not that many practitioners who are practicing, you know, a brachytherapy anymore. So those are the reasons. Well, but it seems that and that makes total logical sense. So thank yeah. you. So it's go because you're radiating, irradiating that whole area. So Correct. your bladder, so the semen, so all of that. So that makes sense. Right. That your functionality now you're putting yourself at other risk. Well, you know, the, the patient, the patient was it the the the. the, the um, operation was a success, but the patient died. Right? <laughs> right, so the exactly. The treatment was a success, but <laughs> the, the patient's patient function died. didn't, right, right, didn't work anymore. Correct. All right, radioactive seeds, definitely on the question list. Is there anyone that should do it? Now there's a, all sorts of, all kinds right. of different therapies uh, okay. available for patients. Right. So there's other things that probably is best. It has to be individualized, uh, but there's other things that are available that might be best for, cer right. for a certain patient population. Great feedback. Thank you. My pleasure. If you liked what you just saw, we have a whole lot more with Dr. Gio Espinoza at our website, BottomLineInc.com. And do me a favor, share this, tell your friends. We have so much great information. Come to BottomLineInc.com. <laughs>